Hey, welcome back everybody. We're picking back up on part two of my Mass Effect Let's Play. Last what time we had just on? escaped Where Earth under siege. Where are we going? And now we're leaving and Mr. Hey. Vega is not happy. We're leaving. Leaving? Yes, leaving. What's going on? Anderson wants us to go to the Citadel, get help for the fight. Bullshit, he wouldn't order us to leave. Do I look like I choice. care? Without help, this war's already over. Forget it. Drop me off someplace. Enough! Don't you think I'd rather stay and fight? We're That's going right. to the Citadel. You want out? You can catch a ride back from there. Yeah. I actually like Vega quite a bit. That you? Although it took a while for him to grow on me. And Joker's back. Yes. Love Joker. Yeah, no kidding you sustained heavy losses. I saw the wreckage. Hackett's having problems. I like that Lance Hendrickson plays Hackett. He's actually really good in the role. Yes, sir. So we're heading to Mars. So yeah, Joker. it looks like uh, we're heading to Mars and prepping our shuttle. This is local. Yes, it is. Why Mars? What does he think we'll find there? I don't know yet, but if it helps us win this war, then we're going. Grab your gear. Time to armor up. <laughs> now. This game reintroduced certain things like modifiable weapons and uh, changeable armor, not to the same degree that it had in the first game, but more so than the second. They made it more modular that you know certain classes of weapons could affect different upgrades, but you could have like two at a time. So you could get like a shotgun that had concentrated fire for range, or you know just pure brute force up close. Playing an adept, I mostly used pistols and semi-automatic uh, submachine guns. I sometimes would use a rifle if necessary. But I avoided it for most times. Anyway, we're arriving on Mars. Activity? Nope, Major. not yet. Edie? The base appears to be online. It's possible the inhabitants were evacuated. We'll know soon enough. Be ready, Joker. Just in case. Roger that. Normandy out. That's right. You Almost keep there. quiet. Uh, another cool backdrop. I like how Mars actually looks like almost lovable. Although that storm in the background cannot be good. I like that the new shuttles are armed. That always kind of irked me. Was that shuttles in the previous game didn't have guns on them. It made no sense. How long till it hits? Half hour tops. After that we're going to have difficulty keeping up comms with the Normandy. Understood. So... Time to go get busy. Now you'll notice that I immediately leveled up to level 31. And that's actually a relic from your previous gameplay. If you upload a Mass Effect 2 and have a game save for it, it actually allows you to power up a lot of your base powers right up to the level you left off at. And I was at level 30 something. So this game allows you to go to level 31 and start there. In fact, I think the max level in part 2 was uh, 30. Shockwave. Now they did change the way Shockwave works in this game, and I actually don't like it as much as it worked in the last game. 
it is still effective. It just takes a little bit more precision to get used to. Once you learn how to use it properly, it's just as effective. Focused. You don't say. Cluster grenade. Those are actually pretty cool. It's a new grenade ability for biotics. Which allows you to throw like a handful of biotic grenades at a target area and just hit them all simultaneously. Now, I level up quite a bit here, but I don't remember at what point I stopped. I think I maxed out... Yeah, I maxed out grenades, maxed out shockwave, and I think I boosted biotic and fitness. But not all the way. Yeah. So boost, boost, and one more. And I think that's as far as I took it. Now the squad, you can auto level up, and they'll usually have a fairly balanced assault skill and strength. Usually playing to whatever their particular strengths are. Okay, quickly rebind the keys. Did I really change anything? No. No, I didn't. Okay. No kidding. Alright, so, there's a shuriken. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Fair enough. Yeah, the fact that nobody's talking to us is a problem. Mantis sniper rifle. And when I first played this, I didn't realize that you could overload yourself with weaponry. And that that would actually negatively affect your ability to use power. Something that I didn't pick up on in the demo. Now that being said, if you are a sniper, there is a cool achievement for uh, using a sniper rifle in a really impressive way. Alliance, Sergeant Reeves. Doesn't look like you put up a fight. No kidding. Something's not right here. Keep a low profile to That sounds like gunfire. Good. That's time to change that. Bye. So much for settle. Now, the sniper rifles are like the, the ultimate trade-off in this game, because they're like almost instantly lethal in like 90% of the cases, but they are also extremely hard to get used to using. And once you get close, they're almost redundant. Now, admittedly, using a Sentinel, you're a power heavy, so the firearms aren't really your strong suit. And there's a Shockwave for you. Shockwave takes a little bit of getting used to in this game, but once you figure it out, it can be a real street sweeper. Hi. Sure look like it. What server is doing here on Mars? Good question. You don't know? I'm not with them anymore, Ash, if that's what you're asking. It wasn't, but you have to admit, it's a bit convenient. And here they come. Now, here is me walking right into gunfire, and amazingly I walk out without getting hurt. Now you'll notice the shockwave's initial range is pretty limited, but it hits hard. Which is the reverse of what it was in the previous game, in which it had this insane range. But when it hit a target, especially if they had a lot of health, it wasn't that damaging. It was a great setup for other attacks, though. 
and could give you breathing room if you needed it. Now you notice I'm currently using the standard armor colors. And that's because I mostly was using, you know, just whatever came with the system at this time to get through this. And then I was going to do customization later. Now here is Ashley giving me all kinds of grief about the second game when I was working with Cerberus. And, and I'm trying to lay it out for her that, you know, I only worked for, you know, Cerberus to defeat the Collectors. Since I destroyed the collector base. Which really and ticked off no the boss, by the way. Which we'll meet the boss later. Here, but uh, for those of you who've played Mass Effect 2, you know who I'm referring to. Sorry, Shepard. I just. And I can't blame Ashley for being suspicious, but uh, she needs to chill. I shouldn't have to explain myself to you, Ash. And they're about to introduce another character. Now the interior of this Please base is actually really cool. I do. It's just that. Uh oh. Making noise, making noise. I love the Cerberus guys in the giant bulky armor trying to get through. Previous Mass Effect players already know this character, but for those of you just joining us, Dr. Laura Tassoni. Biotic, Asari, and someone you do not screw with. Currently also the Shadow Broker. The world's, or the galaxy's best information broker. And she just executed two dudes in absolutely cold blood. That's what I love about this girl. She's with us. Now, Shepherd, anyone who's played the Mass Effect series know you can have relationships with other characters. Too, and for this particular version of Shepard, so Liar has been her love interest um, the whole way through. Sorry about Earth. Now, other yeah. versions I've played have had ultimately. multiple different Ash. variants of the uh, same sorry. result. But why do you come here? Hackett ordered us to come. Said you know what was going on. I do. Hallelujah. Some answers, finally. I Maybe. like that. I've discovered plans for those of you who don't mind. know, uh, Mr. White Vega is actually voiced by you? Freddie Prince Jr. On Mars? In the Excuse me while archives, I get a drink yes. there. We've known about the archives for decades. Why now? Process of elimination mixed with a little desperation. When you destroyed the Alpha Relay, you bought us some time. But then you were under investigation. I knew I had to do something. Yeah, apparently after arrival, he contacted me, they like put Shepard in lockdown, and so everybody else sort of split and went their own ways. The she still My went on and researched here. stuff to try and help you fight the Reapers. The archives and kept me updated on your status. And Hackett's been helping her the whole way. I meant to come see you, but I would have liked that. Yeah, I would have liked that. Unfortunately, there were other, more pressing matters. You're too kind. In any case, my work paid off. The archives are full of data, an overwhelming amount. I think I found what we need. I guess I'll believe it when I see it. Where do we find this weapon? It's not a weapon, not yet. It's plans for a device, a blueprint. Yeah, that's better than nothing. How do we get it? The archives are just across that tramway. Assuming Cerberus hasn't locked it down. What are they after? Yeah, they seem hell-bent on catching you. They want what I'm here for. What we're all here for. Why? Now, for those of you who played the last game, close to defeating the Reapers. Cerberus to is them, formerly time. your ally, and now turned bad guy. To the Generally speaking, just you know, we'll Cerberus learn more about them as the thing goes on, but they're sort of a, so a super a hardcore pro-human splinter group who does not we like aliens, Bring it on. but is more really that concerned about reason. power. What? Now Back here's me settle. sending Cerberus Vega off to, you, you know, go secure the shuttle and bring it what? in for us. Now, Lieutenant. 
And he's not happy about that. They're getting closer. We should take cover. Looks like they found us. Oh, goody for that. Now, that's a surprisingly long range for that attack. You can't hide forever. Ah, he's behind the glass. Whack. And then, using the Singularity ability, you can usually cause some chaos. I missed with my grenades. Leora thankfully got him with a Singularity and put him in a place where we could hurt him. Now, throughout the game, you'll usually run into different types of combat scenarios where your best option is to mix powers and this was Except done in the previous the game and area. to a limited extent in the first but it's never been pushed as far as it was here and I mean that literally because this game tries to set up the scenario so that you're almost always better off combining your skills with others Anything's possible. This is one of those games where you might occasionally see me turn around and look in every nook and cranny because there's usually hidden goodies all over the place. Now, there's some, now this is... Supposedly there was supposed to be a stealth mechanic in this game, but it actually does not work in most situations because you will normally wind up just going into a gunfight. And he just took like th three bursts to the chest and lived. That's hardcore. Now the he now I should have brought this up earlier. The health in this game is different from what was in the last, where you had a single bar for your shields, and then as your screen got more and more bloody, you were getting damaged. In this game, you have a shield and a health bar, and your shields will always regenerate. But your health bar can only be healed by using uh, Metagel to do the first aid command. Shepard, see if you can gain access to the pen. All right, now there we go with more exposition. seem to unlock the live feeds, but... Paige, you see that? Who's that woman in the vid? That's ah, we have a new traitor. She got here about a week ago. That becomes important later. Any Check off person. Pedway's been locked out. Alright, looks like there's construction nearby. We can get out on the roof. We can find a way around from there. Great, let's move. Now, as much as I like this series series I do admit that I think probably the second is still my favorite although a big part of that is due to its amazing DLC content that it released so I am somewhat biased you don't say is that what all this wind is thank you mistress of the obvious Good. And that's where we're headed. Barely. I love how Still they assume that I care base. that service is going to be in an area. It's like, just mark them as targets. I didn't read that, James. Repeat. Yeah, we've lost them. Damn it! Oh, really? Now here's something that I thought was kind of weird was that the visuals in this game sometimes go super dark. There we go. And there are a few situations where this is used masterfully, but that's for later on in the series. Trying to claw their way out. This is brutal, even by server standards. 
Oh yeah, this coming from an organization that was more than willing to test experimental procedures on children. I knew Cerberus was bad back then, I just hadn't another option when I had to fight the collectors. I mean, admittedly back then, I remember playing this game, playing the second game and thinking that Cerberus seemed alright at first, and then the more you learn about them you begin to think, okay, maybe this is a bad idea. glass in my freaking way. Okay, I'll deal with them. Okay, I think... There you are. And that did it. Now, for all intents and purposes, this is the... This is the second in the series where you can wield any combination of weapons you want. What's unique is that, unlike the first game where there was no real penalty for it, you just couldn't use them very effectively. In this game, there's a direct penalty, especially for a, a unit that uses power-heavy abilities like a Adept or a Vanguard, the heavier amount of weapons you carry, the slower the recharge for your abilities. Which means that you will inevitably be forced to choose between using your powers or using the guns. There we go. We have access to the lab, so take me. us right to the tram station. Hey, looks like there's a recording of what happened here. Cool. Security station. This is hilarious. They're all do 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 doing my job do do do, and then this crazy psycho chick walks up behind them. They're like, "What the hell? Dead? Dead?" She just proceeds to completely wreck two soldiers, steals all the info, kills everybody in the lab, and walks away. If you didn't hate her before, you're gonna hate her now. I should have realized it when I met her. I was just so focused on finding a way to stop the Reapers. Stopping the Reapers is the only thing we should be focused on. It's not your fault. But what if we're wrong? What if there's no way to stop them? What if these Oh, come on, Liara. Stop being such a pessimist. To solve a problem we can't fix. Liara. I know. I shouldn't think that way. I don't know how you do it. You've always stayed focused, even in the worst situations. When there's so much at stake, I think about my friends, loved ones, what I'd lose if I failed. Now, that's the one thing about these Me games. Too. How you, you answer, especially if you answer honestly, Together. says a lot about you as a person, I think. I believe you. Or I believe and I find that believe. as a player, enough. and I have tried to do it before, I can never do pure renegade. Okay, doors open. I just, I'm not, not that much of a jerk. There. Good. I mean, I've got my moments to be sure. I've decked a reporter once or twice, that kind of thing. But uh, I could never play Paragon, Paragon, or Renegade straight. I've always slid one side or another. Ah, ultralight materials. Well, that's about it for this set. And quick use of the weapons bench to update my weapon with the ultralight materials, lowering the weight. And we'll continue here next time. This is Mac Hat. Thank you for watching.